is a wonderful party, Miss Deason. A night I'll never forget. Well, why, when I think that I, I sat on that stairway and, and, and talked and smoked and drank with, with Charles Van Dusen and Henry Lawrence, why, in Franklin, these men are, are just names. Uh, yes, Miss Deason, I like your party. <laughs> and I like New York. It's a beautiful city. <laughs> I love to walk and walk and look and look. Now, you see, in, in Franklin, if, if you walk and walk, you, you get way out on a country road where, where there's nothing but great big trees and fields. <laughs> and yet, I don't know. There, there's something about it, uh, about those fields that, that gives you a feeling of being great and lonely. <laughs> I, f I feel it now. Right, right here in my heart, I, I tell you. Um, I, I tell you, I, I know. I know. I know that I'm a great actress. No, no, please be quiet. I'm the greatest young actress in the world. No, no, take and it. I'm going to go on getting greater and greater and greater. You'll see. Kitty, well, kitty, kitty. Well, you're making a fool of yourself. I'm, I'm not making a fool of myself. Well, listen, you're talking to the greatest actress in the world, and I'm going to prove it to you. Now, keep quiet, all of you, and you. You, just wait a minute, just watch me. <clears throat> wait a minute, wait a minute. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing in them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep, to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. I For saw Charlie Chaplin do this in California, and he was never as funny as this kid. Funny? Why, Hamlet's tragedy. Well, it's always been comic to me. Well, that's the most pathetic. Statement I've ever heard from anyone, but if you can't understand Hamlet, you may be able to understand something else. Oh, I doubt it, but look at this. Now, now, turn out those lights there. A and you, you, you will listen. And all of you be quiet. Shh. Be quiet. Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art thou gone? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a captain. Shall I hear more or shall I speak at this? Tis but thy name that is my enemy. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell a sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo doth thy name, and for thy name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. What is she raving about? Romeo and Juliet. She's playing Juliet. And, my dear, she's playing it. Beautiful, childishly beautiful, impossibly beautiful. 